Hi everyone, welcome to Key to Blogging and in this video I will show you how can reduce the impact of third party code in your website. So if you are using Blogger or WordPress then you may have seen this type of error in page speed inside that reduce the impact of third party codes. So if you are using AdSense code or Analytics code that depend on the third party resources because your server doesn't have that javascript file so your server will request that third party server to get the javascript file and then send it to your browser and the browser then pass the javascript and load it in your website so in this process there will be a delay and it will block the main thread that's why the page speed inside flag this as a error so to fix the javascript problem we, we can either use async attribute or we can use the defer attribute but the defer attribute only added in the external javascript but defer attribute also doesn't solve our problem so we need to delay that javascript and so i am in the gt matrix website and they have explained it how the external javascript slow down the page speed so you can watch the animation here so first of all the javascript parsing takes time so for this we need to delay that javascript by using a code like this so let me just open this code and we can delay javascript just by using a simple code we need to add the source code in the new script source field and then it will delay that javascript and we have added 500 milliseconds means 5 seconds so if you want to delay the javascript for 3 seconds then put it 3000 or if you want to make it 2 seconds then you can put it 2000 here. So let me just go to my website and let me just open the home page here and as you can see earlier I used the lazy load adsense so it will load only when I scroll the page but as you can see it will be loading the adsense ad after 3 seconds because I have set the delay time to 3 seconds and I don't have to scroll down the page to load the adsense code so most of you complain that if I use the lazy load adsense then it will reduce the impressions and reduce the earning to, to fix this you can delay the adsense javascript for 2 seconds or 3 seconds and after that the adsense code will be load automatically so let me just go to the blogger theme first and I will also show you how you can do it in WordPress. So let me just go to the edit HTML section and I will scroll down all the way to the bottom and don't forget to take a backup of your theme because if you do any mistake in this process then you can lose out your theme customizations and, and as you can see I have added the lazy you can say a delay of java adsense code and here i have added the adsense source url so let me just go to the adsense and here this is the default script that we get in adsense but you don't have to paste this script anywhere in your theme and you need to just copy the source url from here just copy the source url and then you need to go to your theme editor and then you need to change the url so let me just open this script and i want to add that javascript file here and then i will copy the whole code and i will set the timing like three second or four second and i will paste it just above the closing body tag so if i want to use the default script so let me just go to the adsense so let me just copy the default script from here and let's say if i use the default script i will get that error so let me just paste this script and let me just comment it out so it will not load in the front end okay i have commented out the delay javascript and i have added the adsense code so let me just save the code first now let me just go to the page speed inside here and let me just refresh this or you can read on the test so let's wait for some time and as you can see the page speed has decreased significantly due to the adsense code and it will show this option reduce the impact of third party code that's because i have added the adsense code in my theme but to solve this issue you need to 
go to your theme editor and remove all the instances of this code and you will also get this code in a manual add unit so remove this script from all manual add unit and auto add unit and you need to add a script like this so just replace the source url here and you can easily delete that adsense script using a script like this and you can also use any other third party script so just change the source url here and it will be delayed by three seconds or two seconds that you have mentioned in this script so let me just save this code again and you can also use the same script in your wordpress website also or you can use any plugins like pop matters to delay the javascript so let me just show you in a minute okay now i have added the delay of adsense script which is a third party script so let's go to the page speed inside and let me just read on this test and as you can see the speed has improved significantly and we have solved that issue reduce the impact of third party script and if you want to delay any script in wordpress then you can use a plugin like pop matters or you can directly copy that script and replace the source url and you can paste it in your header section or footer section or you can use a pop matters plugin and here you will see this option asset and here you will see this option delay javascript so just turn on it and if you want to delay the adsense script then you can put this option ads by google.js and it will automatically delay your adsense script and you can also use analytics js and you can use any other js like here i have put the command js so it will autom automatically delay that script and i have set the delay timeout to three seconds so if there is no scrolling happened by the users then it will automatically load the javascript after three seconds so in this way you can speed up your loading process in adsense or any of the third party script and the website will load the important resources like html css and all important javascript fast and then after the delay time it will load that external script like adsense or analytics or any other third party script so in this way you can delay third party script using a code like this so as i have mentioned that you need to change the source url of that javascript so it will work in all third party script that you are using in your website but make sure to delay at least one or two uh, important script like adsense or google analytics so i have already made a video on how to lazy load analytics code in your website whether it is a blogger or wordpress so you can get the link in the description I recommend you to use this script for adsense and it will work best for you so in this way you can you don't have to worry about your adsense earning or decrease the impression of the adsense so i hope this video helps you delay any third party javascript in your website and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the like button it motivates me to make more videos like this and i will see you in the next video thank you